Hi, today I'm back with another video and this time I'm going to do a quick video on my nail polish favourites and I'm going to talk about a base coat and a top coat that I really really love. So I'm going to run through these quickly. Um, my favourite base coat is the Nails Ink Nail Cal Superfood Base Coat. I've only got the mini size at the moment because I got a tester kit and it's really really good because it nourishes the nails with the kale ingredient to it and um, it makes it makes my nails grow really quickly and really long and really strong. I like to wear nail polish a lot so it's really good that um, I have something that protects my nails and it's a kind of light green colour but it doesn't really look green when you put it on your nails, it just dries clear and I like to use that as a base coat underneath all my nail polishes. Um, I'm a massive nail polish wearer, I tend to wear nail polishes most days of the week, maybe Sunday is the only day that I let them have a rest before I apply another coat. Um, it's probably not very good for my nails but I love wearing nail polish so I'm never going to give that up. Um, and my favourite pale shade is the Maybelline White Sail, um, which is a pure white colour and it goes on opaque and doesn't streak at all. Um, I love the Maybelline Superstay Gel Nail Polishes. I've written about them on my blog quite a lot um, and in my mentioned them in my 2015 favourites video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. Um, but yeah, I love white nail polish and I think it looks really, really chic and really um, fresh, especially in springtime. So I'm kind of like holding off until it gets warmer, until I start wearing white nail polishes again. But in the meantime, um, my favourite shade is a Fiji, which is by Essie, and it's a beautiful pale pink shade. Um, I'd call it like a ballerina pink if I had to um, describe it to someone, and again, it doesn't go on streaky, it covers the nails. I'm not really into the kind of like wash of colour, I like a kind of bold, um, like a, a lot of coverage in my nails, so that makes sense. Um, so yeah, this is a really, really nice colour because it goes on really well and lasts a long time. Um, I tend to paint my nails about twice a week, but I'll go on to that in a minute. And then I've got Essie's Licorice, which is a new colour um, that I got for Christmas and it's already become one of my favourites. Um, I don't wear black on my nails very much, like my fingernails, but I like to wear black on my toes because I think it looks really glossy and really cool and um, such a classic shade, like black goes with anything. Um, yeah, so I really really like this and it's so glossy and shiny and I just love it. And then my favorite, I'm a big red well nail polish wearer. So whenever I was wearing red around Christmas I'm like, mm, kind of bored of it because I've worn red a lot all year anyway. I just think it's a really timeless colour and um, looks really put together and I like it for work, I like it for weekends. Um, and my favourite red shade at the moment is the Maybelline, again, um, Midnight Red. And this is kind of like a deep wine colour. Um, it hasn't really got any pink in, in it. Um, or blue, I'd say it's a, a warm red and it kind of suits my skin tone. And as you can see, my hands are quite pale, so I don't want anything too harsh, which is why I don't tend to wear black on my nails very much. Um, yeah, again, formula really good and it lasts a long time. And the final nail polish colour that I want to talk about is the Topshop, which I'm wearing on my nails today actually. It's a Topshop Celestial colour. Um, I really love pastel colours, um, especially in summer and blue is one of my favourite shades ever. And I wear it, I have a lot of blue clothing um, and this colour is a really lovely, pretty, Cornflower, pastel blue. Um, Topshop nail polishes are actually really good, they're not very expensive either. Um, so I definitely recommend this. And then I want to talk to you about what I, how often I paint my nails. Um, I paint my nails probably twice a week. I do it once on a Sunday. Um, and if I'm feeling very productive and like with it, I'll use my shellac kit that I bought from eBay. Um, I bought one after my friend recommended it to me. I've got shellac done in a few times at, at a salon and um, I really really like the effect and how long it lasted on my nails. Um, but obviously it's like £25 or more per, per session. 
then you have to pay to get it removed and done again and it's not great for your nails so I thought maybe if I get a kit from eBay um, then I can do that at home when I want and then I'll just see how it goes. So I got this kit, um, I love these zebra colour, they do come in other colours but I thought I'd be out there and get a zebra. Um, and it's got the timer on it and you've got the switch on and off. Um, basically you just put your hands in here and it's got the lights underneath. Um, so when you turn it on it doesn't take very long to heat up at all. Um, and with this one, I'll link it down below the one I got if it's still available. Um, you do get the base coat and you have the steps to follow like you do with a normal shellac manicure when you go into the salon. But I discovered this amazing product recommended to me by, by my friend called Chiate Gel Tox. Um, it's obviously more expensive than a normal top coat and it's about 20... between 25... about 25 pounds I think. Um, and so you paint your nails normally with any, could be Maybelline, could be Topshop, could be Essie um, and you wait for that to dry for 30 minutes and then you apply the Chiate Gel Tox top coat um, one layer over the top, it's quite thick because it is like a gel formula um, and then you turn your little machine on and you put your hand underneath and it times it for two minutes and then the light switches off and then you use, I use my um, prep and clean and prep solution that I got with the kit um, and that you rub that on with like a bit of cotton wool over the nail polish you feel like you're going to ruin it but you don't trust me um, and that dries the nails and sets them and you've got a perfect shellac manicure at home and I think that lasts, it usually lasts me at least a week if I'm not being like impatient and I'm quite bad like if I can see a bit peeling away then I'll peel it all off because I don't know, I've obviously got nothing better to do um, yeah so if you're someone that wants to have um, shellac manicures more often but you can't really afford them then a home kit is a great way to test them out and really experiment and I recommend them to anyone. Um, it cost me about £50 and when I think how many more shellac manicures I might have gotten at the salon, it saved me money in the long run. So yeah, those are my nail polish favourites and I hope you like them and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!